Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 7 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Me in the morning. Well, that too. Ah. That's a good question. You are right. Yes, his dad did do it. But you know, I think Rudy is different. This is why I wish you here. <laughs> it's too much. And it's only four minutes. Oh my gosh. And I get, because, I mean, it was obvious, especially when you're watching, like, season one. And they spent, like, the little time that we've spent with them when they were kids. Of course, she was going to have a crush on him. And such, and, and I get it. Like, yeah, that that's her like first guy, <laughs> the first crush. So of course she's gonna be like, oh my god, like I I really do have feelings for him and such. And I just want them to just finally be like, oh my god, like, it's me. <laughs> that's all I fucking want, god damn it, and such. But yeah, I I love the fact that you know she question you know yeah is Rudy gonna be very much like his dad because like oof, his dad you know 
did for he did. Now I'm not saying all men are like that. Some, not all. Don't twist my words. I'm just saying, cause some of y'all got a little pissed about the shit that I said about Hori Mia, but I was being honest. That's why I said, do not judge me. I am being truthful. Not all guys do it. Some guys do it. Hmm. Truly is best baby. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I hope she lives a long, happy life. Oh my god. I do also miss him too. <laughs> Hopefully we get to see him again one day. I'm a little scared for him. C can I see? Can I see? No, oh my god. No, 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 no. The thing is, why didn't you put it down? <sighs> you mean Julian? <laughs> Jolien Cujo? <laughs> That's not. <laughs> oh, Julie. <laughs> Give me another one, though. Right? Oh, my God. That or accidentally ripping out a freaking page of a manga and then never buying or to replace the manga? I'm not better. No, oh my god, please don't. Ah! Uh, 
side. Sideline. Holy shit. Mm. No, not the boobs. Do you know that hurts, sir? Damn. Uh. Ooh. I mean, at least he didn't really actually step on the boob because bruh don't do that okay don't do that that hurts no <laughs> please don't <laughs> Oh my god, no. Oh my god! Oh shit, I can't! That's a gun. I feel like I'm really as a muff would be the greatest of fucking friends. I swear to god. <laughs> Miss Jolene Kujo. <laughs> oh my god. No.
Kalima, you too. Yeah, that would solve everything. Oh, baby with her sigh of relief, oh! The hell happened here? Why are you two wet? Please let them go. Or baby, still nothing. At all? Hey, 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 mm, uh. mm Oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh no, I think what you did was right, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that are probably some water.
Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, you want to look at one of his figures? Is the pillow supposed to do that? You know what? And I get it. She's she's afraid. That is like her her mask, and she's holding on that for such a long time that you know she's afraid to have her really get too freaking close to her to the point that you know she has to take it off. And poor baby, oh. you would have fell in love instantly. That too. Like, okay, let me say this. What if with baby girl, she, with Syl, she takes the glasses off, Ariel, like, knows and such. Because, like, I'm not saying Ariel has, like, a weird, like, tracking device or something on there where she knows where <laughs> she's taking them damn glasses off. But because, and I get it from when we saw in episode zero where she's like, yeah, no, absolutely, you cannot take these off. You know, because we don't need people knowing what and who you truly are and where you've come from and such. But because it's Rudy, like, and because slowly but surely she's like, she knows this is my Rudy. You would think that instantly she'd be like, bam, taking these damn glasses off. And I want to show you that it is me. It's me. Like, you've been looking for me for such a long damn time. And, it, but I get it. She's still afraid. And I think it's just because she, she's scared of that fear that she has of what he's going to think and such. And then because they haven't seen each other in a really long time. And so it's complicated. Once again, God, it's, Uh, it's too much. I can't. <laughs> I I fucking cannot. Like, Jesus, the fiance of despair. What the absolute F. Okay, Look, can we just talk about the fact that she with with the two girls like she played making paint on their faces? That is also something that Cosmo would definitely do, especially to Aqua. And such. So come on now, we all may, maybe even Megamine, but really more it would straight up be Aqua. Aqua does some bad shit, and Cosmo's just like, you know what, Aqua, come here, just. Come here and just be like, here, close your eyes. And they're like, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> and then he tells, he tells Buggerbean and Darkness, don't tell her shit about what the fuck is on her face. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my god, let that be canon. Be like, season three. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> but seriously, this is good. I, I mean, I love just, once again, the moments between these two. And it, it just feels like any time when they are around each other, they can just let their guard down. Like, just for a moment. But then at the same time, like, even in that moment where she's just like, yeah, let me, let me, 
do that. Like, still, there is, like, a moment where, her, like, it's, like, no, mm -mm, gotta put the law down. Nope, can't do that. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh-uh. But hopefully it, it does happen where she finally just breaks free and just is, like, yeah, I'm taking them off. And that will be a big, a, a very huge step for her. And just, it's, a lot of things are going to go on in her mind and be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But, <laughs> it's something good. <laughs> Hopefully something good comes out of it. That's all I truly want for these two, like so freaking bad and also hoping that Rudy does not become like his dad or yes become like your dad but don't do the same things that are very similar to what your father did because I feel like you know oh god I don't want to talk about this because it's just always really awkward in my opinion um something that our parents do you know when we are kids and when we're growing up and when we learn about the things that our parents have done whether it's good bad or indifferent but if it's more bad things um, you try your hardest to not become or do the same things of what your parents did and such. And sometimes five out of 10, you either go down that same road just as much as your parents or, you know, you conquer it. It's like a, um, in a way, like a, what I like to say, or what I've heard a lot of people use the quote unquote term is generational curse. And such so I would say like for Rudy his is kind of like okay yeah his dad cheated on his mom so it is a possibility that he might do the same thing but I feel like it, it really for Rudy it might just be like whoever he really truly loves and I feel like in my opinion it, it is Roxy in a way but I also feel like it could be Edis and then it also could be Syl at the same time but there there's different reasons for all three girls and then he could find quote unquote the one and you know really want to sit down with that girl and really truly want to be with that girl because I think one random day I had saw I think the cover art for the final, you know, volume and such. And it's him, I think, his extended family and everyone else. I don't know if he's older and it's actually, like, his kids. I would have to go back and look. But he, he looks happy. That's the biggest thing. And so it makes me do wonder by the end of that, like, who he truly is with. I mean, it's not, like, the biggest thing where it's over here, like, overtaking my mind. And I feel like with shipping in my opinion that really ruins an experience with a show and so you get pissed if your quote unquote end game couple is not end game mm -hmm. <laughs> we've all been in that situation next you know you're sending pitch marks to a company please don't do that i'm just saying but yeah i do kind of hope that rudy does not go down the same path as his father um but it, it, it is going to be very interesting to see what he is going to do relationship-wise and who he wants to be as his quote-unquote forever person whenever we do get to see that. But other than that, guys, that is my action for you towards episode 7 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys on Sunday, but the following Sunday after, so today's the 24th, so the 20, because I want to talk about this now, and even though I'm going to talk about it next week too, on the 20, not even the 27th, on the 3rd, um, going in the last week of August, going into the first week of September, I am going to be extremely busy, those that... 31st, the 1st, the 2nd, and maybe even the 3rd. So normally when I do come home, even though I don't really record or I try to record, I am going to try even though I'm going to be very tired because the 31st, the 1st, the 2nd, and a little bit of the 3rd, I am going to be uber busy due to work and such. So just in case if you don't see episode, this is 7, I think it's episode 9, if, if you don't see anything from me on Sunday, just know it will come out Monday morning and we'll explain more on that when I get there. But just know that when episode nine eventually does come around, I will be very tired due to working my butt off at work. But like I said, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye guys.